I mean, Mr. Simmons let me go today. You sound happy about it. Apparently, they're having trouble with the business and he can't afford to pay me. But truth be told, I'm glad to be out of there, away from that place. Is Puppy at the dump now? Yeah, why? <gasps> what are you gonna do? Are you gonna kill him? All depends on Puppy. I'll be seeing you, Maria.
got the... Oh, shit! Shit! I'm hit! He's here! Follow Stop my lead, him! Oh. Goddamn hospital! <laughs> Fuck me. I'm gonna fucking die in a dump. And even that's too good for you. I need some of your boys in Barclay Mills. The best things in life come in pairs, ain't that right, brother? <laughs> of course, it can also be taken away from you in a blink of an eye. That would make me very unhappy. Yeah, I'm of two minds when it comes to Lincoln's legacy. On the one hand, he was a, a brutal criminal who killed God knows how many people, a new breed of mobster, a prototype for criminals to come. Someone like that doesn't deserve the position history has afforded him. He should be forgotten, erased. But I also understand that Lincoln had a significant impact on the Italian mob in this city. He did what the Bureau wouldn't or couldn't do, he finished them. Jesus Christ! I'm gonna shot you in the goddamn face. Now we're even. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Time to call Enzo. Alright. Tile this. Yeah. Barclay Mills is gone. All of it. Who the fuck is this? Take a guess. Got a lot of nerve calling me like this. You know who the fuck I am? I know exactly who you are, Enzo. You're a mob lieutenant who's just lost control of his district. Marcano will probably end up playing you next to Michael Greco. You goddamn coward. You want me dead? Be a man. Do it yourself. I don't want you dead, Enzo. I want to make a deal. A deal? <laughs> Jesus Christ, son. You need to get your fucking head examined. You tell me who's behind the construction of Marcano's casino, and I'll do what I can to keep that WAP asshole from killing you. Why the fuck should I think you could protect me from Marcano?
look at what I did to you. Meet me at the quarry. Next time, don't let me catch you napping. Kiss my ass. Put the gun away. If I wanted you dead, Enzo, I wouldn't have walked through the front door. All the same, I ain't taking no chances. Hold on here. I know you. You're Lincoln Clay, right? Lived with Sammy Robinson? Went off to Nam? That's right. <laughs> Christ, son, if I'd have known that, we could have saved ourselves a whole lot of trouble. Follow me. You probably don't know this, but Sammy and I went way back. 
He was a good man. Didn't deserve what happened to him. Hell, none of y'all did. And this shit with the casino? It's a giant fuck you from Sal to every man who ever worked for him. He wants to go legit and fuck the rest of us in the process. <laughs> Guess it's well past time I fucked him back. You know Remy Duval? Sure, he's the big shot on the radio. Without him, there's no casino. He owns the land, runs a construction company, you name it. So, these are all fronts? Yeah, they're bullshit. Created a big paper trail to protect himself in case everything falls apart. And Marcano doesn't own any of the land? <clears throat> nah. It all belongs to Duval. He's no idiot. Long as it's in his name, Sal can't touch him. How do I find him? He lives up in Frisco Fields. But from what I hear, Olivia Marcano is keeping close tabs on him, forcing him to stay low. The last thing Sal needs is for his sole legitimate partner to get into trouble. We should get moving. Looks like it's a little late for that. Deal's a deal. Let's go. Friends of yours. Pussy ass motherfuckers used to wait for me. in a couple of spots I got round the quarry. No way I'm just walking away and leaving all this to Sal. Right there's the first batch. Pick that one up, then we'll move on to the rest. You weren't kidding about these explosives. That's life in a quarry. Back in the day, we tried sticking our pickers in the ground and fucking the stone out. But all we ended up with was chat nutsacks. <laughs>
that asshole. So how is Vietnam? Right, it's a beautiful country. If you consider shit all right, Patty, you grab a one-way ticket. But to me, it don't get ugly. Cause you ain't ever been to Ohio. Yep. Oh, running out of fight here, boy. I'm gonna clobber you! Not sure what that was. I'm gonna eat your fucking insides. Got you all to myself.
trying to run now. This is the way you die. I'm gonna leave what's left here to my dog. You okay? Yeah, why wouldn't I be? Ted, some of these men work for you. Not some of them, all of them. That should do it. Kai's through here. God damn. You like? No, I love. Get me there and I'll make a financial contribution to your cause. They got it blocked, but I bet we can bust through the gate. What about the train tunnel? The tunnel? <laughs> it's your call. Take it, please. <laughs> Fuck you, you goddamn cockroaches. <laughs> Where am I dropping you? I got this girl, Henrietta. Shacks up at the Carousel Hotel in the Hollow. Smart as a fucking whip. I left a fucking bag with her. Should have all I need to get by. Two tears in a bucket. So yeah, me and Sammy back in the day, we had these two knockouts. And we was drinking, partying, having the time of our lives. This was uh, 1942, no, 43. He must have known. And the girl with your old man, she starts getting into the making out. But she got a problem. Sammy's passed out cold. Told you he was drunk off his ass. But this girl was into him, so she gives him the benefit of the doubt. Keeps trying. Smacks him a bit. Wakes him up. But every time she starts getting into it, Sammy drops. Poor bastard couldn't stay awake to save his fucking life. Finally, she's had enough and storms out of there, cursing the goddamn blue streak. God damn. Attention all units. We have a report of a colored male driving erratically. Immediate response requested. Now where the fuck was I? Ah, oh, yeah. And do you know who that woman was? Perla? Perla. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Perla didn't move to New Bordeaux until 44. I'll show you who it was. I got the photo right here. Are you kidding me? Sammy had a shot with her? She was passing through on her way to Hollywood, but it all worked out, didn't it? Sammy wound up with Perla. The love of his life. God damn, I miss those days. Fucking Sal.
This is good right here. Sorry again about what happened to Sammy and Ellis. Appreciate it. Guess this is where we find which direction you and I are headed. My expectations here have not faltered. And while you appear to be leaning in my direction, let me remind you in no uncertain terms. This turf comes to me. You need to let this play out, Cassandra. I understand your position, but I need to hear from everyone. You gotta decide how important she is. Where she fits in the future of what we're doing. If she don't, cut her the fuck loose. Jesus, lad. Just give her the district and let's get on with our goddamn lives. You'll do what's right here, Lincoln. Or there will be blood in the streets of the holler again. Gotta say, this action's perfect for Cassandra. All right, then. This is a step in the right direction, but it's only one step, Lincoln. You and I still got a deep hole to crawl out of. Suppose I'll swallow this pill right along with my pride. But if shit don't start swaying my way, you and me are gonna have words, pal. Are we done here? I got a whore named Sandy and a bottle of Shane waiting. We'll talk later. Get on out of here. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. What a prick. Turns out you were right. I gotta go. Thank you for this. Happy hunting, Donovan. <sighs> Miss Lancaster's helping me with a side project. You get a name at Enzo? Yeah, Remy Duval. He's not only building the casino, he also owns all the land where it's being built. Remy Duval? The jackass on the radio? His family's been down here a couple hundred years. Thinks it makes him everyone's massa. According to this, he heads up the Southern Union in his spare time. The Southern Union's basically the fucking clan. You know, right before I shipped out, Father James was with some other folks protesting the fact that the city didn't have any black cops. Southern Union came in and kicked the shit out of everybody they could get their hands on. Day after, they spray-painted God hates niggers across the front of his church. If President Andrew Johnson had actually executed those traitorous fucks, we wouldn't have this goddamn problem. Enzo also mentioned Olivia Marcano. Olivia's an outlier. Old Southern money. She's the one that was married to Sal's brother, Lucho. At least until someone slit his throat. And she runs Frisco Fields. Ever since Lucho died. She expanded his drug business and opened a PCP lab. Hmm. Since a lot of mafiosos live up there, she probably just has a place they can socialize. Well, it's usually in the back of some business. I never knew the mob had women as capos. She's there to keep Duval in line. Only people these entitled pricks listen to are other entitled pricks. So who are you gonna go after first? Duval. Since he owns the land where the casino's being built, killing him will muddy things up. You think hitting Olivia's businesses will help draw him out? I've known racist assholes like him my entire life. Black man like me running around terrorizing white folks. He ain't gonna be able to let that stand. His pride will bring him down. You know, that bourbon's not cheap. Good luck out there. <laughs>